Peace, everybody. This is all for reborns. All right, I'm on all three straight, all three screens. Sorry, Facebook. You guys got a weird angle today because I'm trying to show all these babies. I have a lot of babies on my table today. What up, everybody? What up? What up? What up? Hey, I see all the love on Instagram. Thank you, everybody. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you, everybody on Facebook and YouTube. I really appreciate you guys coming out, hanging out with me tonight. Can you guys hear me over there on, on YouTube? I hope you guys can hear me. I think I might have to restart YouTube. Okay, there we go. Hi. Hey, what's up? I hope the notification went out. I know YouTube be acting weird. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting YouTube people in here. Hey, what's up, you guys? Thank you for joining me. Um, if, if you're new here, my name is Julia Crystal, also known as All for Reborns. Um, and I'm really excited to be here hanging out with you guys live again. Thank you. I told you I was coming back <laughs> um, I'm most known for my videos on YouTube and on YouTube. I have over 360,000 subscribers. What's on YouTube? Um, on, on Instagram, I have 17,000 subscribers. What up y'all? And on Facebook, I have I think I'm almost at 6,000 subscribers. So um, I became known for my videos, but I'm also known for my lifelike dolls that I create and that I so enjoy to make. And so anyway, in this video tonight, I'm going to hang out with you guys for a little bit. And I wanted to tell you guys about Playborns um, because they're a new type of doll that I love to make. They're actually kind of like old, but coming back to, to new for me. I don't see a lot of people make them anymore, but I really like making them. And what I really like about them is that they're at a price point for people who can't afford the higher price reborns and they're really not that much different so I wanted to do this as a request uh, people ask me all the time what is a playborn so that's what we're gonna talk about tonight um, so before before I get started I just want to give a shout out to all my patrons out there what's up you guys thank you so much for joining me if you're a patron in here please say hey please give a heart please do something to let me know that you're in here Okay, I see some hearts going up on Instagram. I love my patrons and all their support. I appreciate you guys so much. What up, nephew? I see you coming in here. He has a birthday. Everybody say happy birthday to my nephew, Savage Aeneas. <laughs> Thank you for coming and hanging out with me. We'll see you tomorrow at your party. <laughs> but um, anyway, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. Before I get started, I just want to tell you a couple updates. Number one is... Don't forget, I'll be at the doll show on October 13th in Phoenix at the North Phoenix Baptist Church. That's October 13th. It's a Saturday in Phoenix, Arizona, my hometown. Come on out to North Phoenix Baptist Church from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. You can just Google it. It's called the Valley of the Sun Doll Show. Some people said they were coming from like Vegas or uh, Utah or Cali. So if you're not too far and you feel like taking a little road trip, or if you're in Phoenix, definitely come out. I'm going to have some great deals on that day, so you don't want to miss out. I'm going to try to show out for my hometown, so please come show me some love. Uh, let me say, did she say she can't hear me? Can y'all hear me, y'all? Oh, you don't live there? I know, I'm sorry, but I'll be traveling again next year. This is my last doll show for the year. And the other housekeeping thing is... What did I want to say? Oh, yeah, the giveaway, baby. That's why I have her here. Don't forget, yesterday I gave a special deal, and some of you guys have taken advantage of that, but you only have about four more hours at midnight tonight, Mountain Standard Time. That deal will end, and that was if you get one, no, two giveaway entries, you get one more free. So this is her, and I did a video on her. The video is still on YouTube, and it's still on Facebook if you missed it. But yeah, this is little Carlisle, and I'll be giving her away live next Saturday. So I'm going to lay her down for a second, because this video ain't about her. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about these Playborns. And I know uh, everybody kind of has a weird angle. I'm going to try to get it together a little bit better. But I have my Reborn baby here. This is a doll for my personal collection. I made him to sell, but... I didn't sell them. I ended up keeping them because I love them so much. And I'll do question and answer at the end. So uh, please be patient with me if I don't see your question. Uh, I am looking at three different screens. I'm looking on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. 
So if I miss your question, um, please just put it up again. I'll do question and answer at the end. So anyway, this is little baby Knowles, and he is a reborn baby. His head's a little all over the place. And he is, I guess what I could say, the difference between a playborn and a reborn for me is that the playborns uh, have more subtle detailing. Like when, and, and I think it's all up to an artist's perspective. Um, what I consider to be playborn, when some people look at these dolls, they say, what's the difference? It looks like a reborn to me because they just, you know, it still looks very realistic. But for me, I just put um, more work into my, my reborns. They have much more um, different colors that I put into them, different undertones. And if you've seen my work in person, you know what I'm talking about. Also, most of my reborns um, have hair. This little guy has painted hair and he has rooted hair as well. I'm trying to show y'all over here. This is little Knowles. Sorry guys. So yeah, he's just he's just, he's got the whole package. I would say he's like the, the Cadillac of <laughs> of the reborns. So now I'll show you a playborn. And I guess I'll start out with this little one here. And this is, oh gosh, I named them. This is Daisy. And she's a Playborn. Now, she's painted really beautifully. But um, she is given more subtle painting. Right? Um, I didn't use as many colors on her. Now, she does have veins on her head. I'll show you her head. She's a little baldy. But and she's a reborn sculpt. She's the same sculpt as you know where you buy reborn kits from. There's nothing different. Some people could buy this kit and they would reborn it. But I just lightly, I guess you could say lightly reborn it. She has a fontanelle on the top of her head. She's got some veins. It's probably hard to see with this camera. I even gave her like a little blush spot on the top of her head. Um, what else? I weight them a little differently too. So with my, her head is still very floppy as you can see how I'm holding it. But with this, uh, Reborn, he has a squishy silicone, um, belly inside, but I don't do that in my Playborns. They just have the polyfill inside of them here, but I did weight the limbs. So they have a nice weight to them. I would say my, this Playborn is probably maybe about two pounds which um, we had a little discussion on Instagram about this the other day, which is that when you pick up a reborn, like you like two pounds, that's nothing. But it feels heavier because it's kind of like dead weight. You know, when you pick up a baby, the baby at least, um, a newborn baby will pull their legs up, pull their arms up, you know, in response to you picking them up. But like the reborns, they just kind of flop. Their, their arms don't do that. So he, she feels heavier than she is. And I also gave her little eyelashes. I don't know if you guys can see her. Say hi. <laughs> yeah. So that's the main difference. Um, other than that, people can't tell. I've had people in my family go, um, especially when I made the Lily and Rose twins, they were like, those babies are so beautiful. They look just like reborns. So this is, now this baby here is going to the Phoenix Doll Show with me. Um, and then these two here have already been adopted. They were private orders. So this is the Lily, the Lily doll. And she has uh, blue glass eyes. There she goes. She's also got the little bald head too. And these are um, preemie size. These ones here. Now she has veins in her head too. She's got really light mottling all over. And I think that like people will say like what, I'll let you guys ask questions at the end, but people would say like what are Playborns, like who would want that? And I've had people who wanted a Reborn but couldn't afford like one of my more expensive dolls. And so they got that, and then they eventually upgraded it. That's another thing about Playborns. If you buy a Playborn for me, um, and let's say you just want to get in and get a doll, well, later down the line, you can be like, hey, Julia, can you give it more paint for me? Can you give it more hair? And that's something you have an option to do. 
and I'm not knocking manufactured dolls. It's just something totally different. Like if you get a manufactured doll, like a Ashton Drake or Paradise Gallery, you don't really have as many options of what you can do with it down the line. It's going to be a lot more difficult for somebody to actually upgrade that for you versus this one. You can actually send it to me. Somebody actually sent it to a rooter and had a rooter root, root the hair. Um, but you can send it back and get it repainted uh, with more detailing. You know, you just got, you got more to work with. So I would say this is like the Cadillac of Reborns. And I would say that Playborns are maybe like the, the Toyota. Toyota is a good brand. But you know, you don't get all the bells and the whistles. But you still get a nice car. So you still get a nice doll in this case. There she goes. Same, so this is the same doll, but I call her Rose. So these will actually be getting these two will actually be getting shipped out to separate homes. All right, now let me show you my new type of uh, Playborn, and I used a Realborn sculpt. So this is a those were 16 inch dolls, and this one here is a 19 inch doll. So this is a big little chunky chubby thing, and it has full legs and full arms. Look at that so cute and I gave it the painting of like a newborn really newborn look and this baby also has blonde eyelashes I guess I was in a blonde mood when I rooted on that day if you can see them this baby also has little veins in the forehead um, again it's not weighted it's just polyfill here in the belly but the arms and legs are weighted so I would say this one's probably about three and a half to four pounds because it's a chunky baby really really chunky see and they still look so realistic when you hold them that's what I like about it I'm gonna show you the head now this if you don't know what a real born is a real born is a scan of a 3d um, a 3d scan of a real newborn baby so that is really cool. Um, that's like really new technology with these reborn doll kits. So they took an actual newborn baby. I don't know how they did it. <laughs> but some type of way they scanned the baby. And with a 3D printer, they made like some modifications that they may have needed. But this is like a real newborn baby. And it even has like the little fontanelle right here on the top of the head. It's just pretty amazing. All those wrinkles on the feet everything that a newborn would have I see you guys out there are y'all out there you guys know I'm a teacher so I can just I can just teach <laughs> I hope you guys are still out there with me but all right so let me tell you guys um something special that's going on let me know y'all still out there y'all still out there with me Are y'all still out there with me? <laughs> okay, I saw a heart on Instagram. Okay, so this weekend only, you do not want to miss this. Somebody said, are you giving them away? Practically, I'm practically giving them away. I'm having a huge, huge flash sale on my Playborns. And this sale will only last for this weekend. This sale will end on October 31st, 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Let me go and make sure I'm telling y'all the right prices. So... Um, I do private orders. These two particular babies, I could sell them and ship them, adopt them out and ship them, but I, then I won't have a baby for my Phoenix show. So after the Phoenix show, if they don't sell there, I'll put them up for adoption. But so normally for these Playborns here, I would charge $175, which is a steal. As a steal, you still getting a Reborn. You're just getting a Toyota. You're not getting a Cadillac. So $175 is my normal fee for these dolls. But for this weekend only, the, the price is $135. $135. All right? So these three Playborns, you can go to my website, allforreborns.com, and it's available there for $135. And once I'm sold out, I'm sold out. I only have a limited amount of the kits, and once they're gone, they're gone. And then this one here is my newer sculpt, and normally I would charge $195. $195 for this one, but for this weekend, I'm dropping it to $165. $165. All 
So I know Christmas is coming up, birthdays, whatever you want to think of that's coming up. This is a great opportunity for you to get one at a great price. And I take layaway. I take easy, affordable layaway payments. So if you go to my website, www.allforreborns.com, right when you click on it, you'll see all the Playborns I have for sale. And I have triplets. I got twins. I got all different kind of pictures up there. Um, I have a phone number if you want to call me, but I can't talk tonight because it's late at night. But I know some people like to do over the phone payments. I do that too. Um, yeah, don't miss out on the sale. Like I said, it ends on October 1st, uh, 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. This is a steal of a deal. And um, if you want to change the gender on any of them, you could change the gender because they have a... Oh, I didn't show you guys. They have a cloth belly. If you didn't figure that out when I was saying they were polyfill. These are not silicone babies, guys. I know somebody say, is that silicone? No, this is a cloth body baby. And it's just like a reborn, but it's a playborn. So, if you want to hop on over to my website and then come back, you can go ahead and do that. I'll still be here. I'm going to answer some questions. I hope that was really informative because I get that question a lot. What is a playborn? And... Honestly, if it was me, if I was buying for my kid, I would buy my own kid a Playborn before I would buy them a real a real Reborn. Just, sorry, kids, if you're out there, I'm sorry. But if you don't feel like your kid is ready for a Reborn or you want to see if they're going to take care of it, that's what I would do. Because I know a kid, I'm not going to throw them under the bus, but I know a kid in my life who I gave a Reborn to and then they were putting it in like the giveaway bag for a Goodwill. And I was like, what? Give me my gun back. <laughs> so, you know, kids are kids. But also I had somebody who, um, as part of her therapy, her therapist had recommended that she get a doll and she ended up getting one and because that's what she could afford at the moment. And it was really helpful to her. Um, that's another reason why I like to offer these at this price because, um, you know, everybody, do dolls bring joy and everybody gets them for different reasons. And I just think that it's, it, it makes me feel good to be able to offer more affordable prices for people. And I've also had children who bought them for themselves. Parents have been like, hey, my daughter saved up her money all summer and thank you for this blessing. She was able to get her doll with her own money. And she loves this doll so much. So anyway, um, that's really all I got to say about Playborns, guys. I hope I didn't miss anything. And like I said, if you know anybody who wants a reborn, um, share this. Please don't just hold this information for yourself. Share it. Um, I think that it could be very helpful for a lot of people. All right. Y'all got questions? <laughs> Let me see what y'all talking about. Um, Mo Shay, yes, on my website, I do have payment plans. Um, and if you don't see one that works for you, just email me and I could let you know, you know, we can work something out. I am, I am very flexible. Um, but also let me say this over 18 only, please, please don't email me if you're under 18. You got to be over 18. You got to have a job. I'm not giving these away, guys. I'm not. I've been, I've been getting so many emails lately from people wanting a free doll. And not just, not just kids. These are adults, too. And you guys, I have four kids of my own that, that love to eat food every day. So I can't just give away dolls. I wish that I could. But this is the next best thing that I can do, which is offer a great deal for you if you want to take advantage of it. Thank you for all the compliments over here on Facebook. She says, he is beautiful. You have amazing dolls. Love seeing your Instagram post of them. Thank you, Rebecca. All right. Let's see what y'all talk about on the gram. If you have a question, please ask. I probably missed it. Thank you for offering a Playborn. I'm not ready to commit to a Reborn for almost six years. For my almost six-year-old, that was this was a great alternative. Oh, you're welcome. See what that's what I'm talking about. Always beautiful work. Thank you, April. Hey, one of my patrons is in here. All right, I'm trying to see. I love your dolls. Thank you, Ava. Oh, thank you, Taylor. 
She said, you so pretty. <laughs> All right, nobody has questions? Karen, you're just getting here tonight. Um, I just did a video basically explaining what the difference between Playborns and Reborns are. So I hope that you found that information really helpful. And basically, in a nutshell, it's the same type of kit as a Reborn baby doll. But um, Playborns don't have as much details. Now, some people may consider these to be Reborns. Man, Instagram, I hope you guys have a good view because I keep getting a glare from where I'm looking. Um, but some people would say that these are Reborns. But um, for my painting style, I put much more uh, different colors on my Reborns. This is a Reborn here. I do hair. I do painting. Um, I give them a silicone insert in their stomach um just a whole lot more goes into them and so you know i i i like to not cheat people out of their money <laughs> and so i don't charge as much when i do a playborn and i like to just give it a different name how long have you been making reborns um I started out, that, that's a good question, Heather, thank you. I, I started out making, and I hope we're not lagging because I feel like YouTube, can you guys hear me? My screen looks a little laggy. Um, I started out making Reborns in 2011. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So what is this, 2018? I've been making them for about seven years now. I'm sorry, Facebook, you guys are shaking because I'm bumping the, the thing over here. Um, yeah, so about seven years now, and I've been working full-time as a doll artist since 2017. I was a full-time music teacher, and I stopped being one in June of 2017, and by the grace of God, I'm still going with my doll career and loving every minute of it. All right, any more questions related to Playborns or Reborns? How much do you ask for your Reborns? Um, it depends on the price. My Reborns range anywhere from about 300 ish and up like if it's a snuggle baby i think that i they're on my all of my dolls are on my website i have a lot of dolls for adoption right there. um but most of my snuggle babies i think start around 300 but they go up to you know six seven eight hundred depending on the sculpt if it's limited edition how much hair i give it all of those things how y'all doing over there on instagram Facebook. Anybody else have any more questions? I'm hearing from YouTube. Don't be shy. Okay, let me see what you said. My screen makes it disappear. Okay, um, I can't see your name. Bottle Babies, I think. Um, what awesome prices you have right now. Thank you. They are very cute. This is a great topic for those who are new to the hobby. That's true, too. I forget about new people because I've been in it for so long. Um, but, yeah, that's that's the difference. Um, is anybody just getting here that doesn't know what is going on? If you're just getting here, myself, and I'm also known as All for Reborns. I'm a doll artist. And I'm most known for my videos on YouTube, and I also am a full-time doll artist. I create dolls of all uh, types, silicone babies, playborn babies that we're talking about tonight, reborn babies, and miniature OOAK babies, which is clay baby doll. He looks so real, the way he's looking right there. Trying to read, so these are not <clears throat> none of these are full bodies, these are all play 
cloth body dolls that are lightly reborn if you just pop it in <laughs> somebody said i've been on all three pages girl you've been bouncing all over the place <laughs> Okay, I'm going to show the dolls again. You guys are pretty quiet tonight. Karen, do I make Playborns on a regular basis? I always offer Playborns on my website, allforreborns.com. I always offer them there for private order. And let's talk about private orders. A private order is where you go on my website, because I, I don't do custom orders. I'm not a custom artist. I've kind of realized that um, what I like to do is if I make a doll... I'll put pictures of it up and then I'll say you could private order this doll which means I can do a recreation of it for you now the doll won't be identical but it'll be very similar to what you saw because of course as an artist it's um your work um private order of many different dolls on my page and these particular dolls were private orders of Lily and Rose that I had previously done you know what, Facebook? I don't know why I wasn't scrolling. I thought you guys weren't saying anything. You guys are over here having a whole conversation. Um, you tried to email me, Moshe. It's um, allforreborns at gmail.com. Can you make mine cry and can I feed it? Can we use the bathroom? No, I don't know. I don't know how to do that with the reborns. None of them can have a drinking wet system because they have a cloth body. They're not solid in the middle. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Okay, somebody says, how long does it take for shipping? So when you make a private order, it takes about two to three weeks for me to make it. And um, after I'm done making it, shipping is like one to three, no, two to three days. I ship USPS. If you're international, um, it's going to be a little bit longer for the shipping. I think most of the time it's like seven to ten days um, and if you're doing like a layaway plan say if you're getting this for Christmas I would recommend that you try to get your layaway paid off at the beginning of December um, because Christmas time the shipping can slow down a little bit and so I always like to remind people to start early I get so many emails like the week before Christmas or like two weeks before Christmas and by that point it's too late I'm usually already booked up for my Christmas orders and I'm usually trying to finalize my last orders um, to get everything shipped off in time for people to have a Merry Christmas. So, And I pride myself in that. I've never had a package not be there for Christmas Day. Like That's so important to me because I have kids. I know what it's like if you're trying to make somebody's Christmas, uh, Christmas wish. So keep that in mind. Share this with people who you think might want to get something for Christmas or for themselves. Um, I think this is a great deal and I don't think you're gonna find anything with this type of quality for this price anywhere else to be to be quite frank um let's see what y'all said over here are the playborns weighted yes they are weighted to feel like real babies you guys can see her head flops she's got a floppy head it's weighted and her legs and arms are weighted. Now, they're not weighted in the middle. But I do that, too, because I like them to be so cuddly. I like the play ones to have a lot of cuddle to them. See? So you got to support her head like a real baby. I know it doesn't look good that she's, <laughs> she's flopping all over the place like that. <laughs> she's a floppy, floppy girl. See? I'll show you this one. Trying to lay them back like they were. This big old one. And this is Marie. I don't think I said her name. This is Marie. She's pretty heavy. You could probably actually see the ridge in her fontanelle. In the sculpt. So I just really started making Playborns 
um, this year. And I'm trying to make more so I have more of a variety, more of a variety of skin tones too. But this is what I have right now. So hopefully I will have more um, before the holidays hit. Yeah, IG froze. Thanks for coming over here, Latrice. I don't know what happened. Um, this is the, this sale, I don't know if I'll do this sale again. So, uh, somebody said, what's the price for Christmas? I don't know. I don't know if I'll do this sale again because, like I said, once I'm sold out of these kits, I don't know when I'll get more. So, this is, get it now if you want it. I don't know what sale I may or may not have in the future. This ends on October the um, first and it's on my website www.all3borns.com if you're interested um, get it before it's gone that's Monday by the way Monday morning it ends don't be emailing me talking about I couldn't get in nope you you got you got a couple days to get it together and if I sell out before then I'm gonna end it before then um, Okay. Let's see. Instagram, what happened over here? Okay, somebody says, um, how long does it take me to make a reborn? And I have been making, I have been working on these ones for a couple of weeks now. So um, I'm, if you're a patron, you've seen me work on these for a while now. And I've been kind of dibbling and dabbling in different kits over the past couple of weeks. So um, it doesn't take me like a couple of weeks to make one doll. I go back and forth between um, different sculpts. I'm not taking any questions about my collection right now, you guys. I am just want to talk about anything I might have missed about Playborns, if you want to know about my art, or if you want to know about the doll show. Um, somebody says, do I have kids in real life? Yes, I do have children in real life, and that's why I can't give away my dolls for free. <laughs> so don't ask for free dolls, because my kids got to eat, and they have sports that they play and instruments that they play. And so, and they love dolls. Well, my girls love dolls too. My boys, they don't love dolls. <laughs> they think they're creepy. But they love winter. Thank you, Emily. Um, I don't have any full body silicones yet, Heather, but that's coming. I'm working on one. They take so much more time than, than Reborns, and that's why they're so much more expensive. Do I do trades? No, I don't do trades, because I can make my own, so I don't do trades. Okay, bye, Emily. Have a good night. <laughs> Okay, so somebody over here said, how much are the Playborn? So I guess there's a couple new people coming in. Somebody said, please show the one in the yellow whose head is turned all the way around. <laughs> this is little Knowles, my little personal doll. But I was thinking about putting Knowles up for adoption. But I don't know. When I look at him, I think maybe I shouldn't. Because he's so cute. I'll set him up. His head is kind of heavy, though, so it's hard for him to sit up. You guys can't see him anyway. There. There we go. All right, somebody said, how much are they? So let's start over. This is little Daisy. She's a Playboard, and for this weekend only, it ends on Monday, I'm having a flash sale, a huge reborn sale, where this doll is normally $175, and you can get her for $135. $135. When I told my husband that price, he was like, oh my gosh, that makes me excited. I'm about to go buy me one. <laughs> yeah, that's a steal of a deal. All right, Knowles is like, I'm over this. 
I'm over this. It's time for me to go to bed. <laughs> All right. Just a little dolly humor, guys. All right. And so this is little Lily. She's also on my website. And she's the same price. Normally, she is $165 for this weekend only. She is $135. And I do take payments. So you can split that up into two payments. I also have triplet versions and twin versions of these dolls. You just got to go check it out. If you want to go pop into my website, allforreborns.com, and then pop back, that's fine too. All right, and then this is little Rose. I'm like, what is your name? And Rose is also normally $175, and for this weekend only, she is $135. All right. And then the last one here. Last but certainly not least, look how heavy she looks. She's like, I don't want to get up. <laughs> I don't want to get up. Oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't show how they flop like that, too. I should have done that. Look how floppy she is. She's just so floppy. She has full arms and full legs. These ones have um, full legs, but she has full arms, too. And you can notice she has on a little sleeveless outfit because it still was like 100 degrees here in Phoenix today. Um, but she is normally, um, she's a real born kid. So she's a 3D scan of a real baby. So she's uh, really special. And normally she's $195. And for this weekend only, she's $165. And there's payments available on her too. Yeah, I like her. I really liked her when I put her together. And then I put her little blue outfit on her. So let me ask you guys a question. Do you guys understand the difference between playborns and reborns? Did I like make that clear? Do you can you, can you guys see a difference? I know that on the screen it may be hard for you to tell the difference, but I feel like in person you would know the difference. But like I said, even when I was at the doll show, like some people's reborns look like what I would think would be a a playborn, only because I like. I like a lot of paint on my babies, you know, and some people just like a little subtle paint, but I like a lot of, you know, I like a lot of colors and tones on my reborn. So that's why I don't consider these to be, um, re like reborn all the way, if that makes any sense. Look at y'all over here on Instagram, cuss. <laughs> she that cute. Thank you. <laughs> y'all so funny. You're funny, April. Um, okay, somebody said, please explain the difference. Um, yeah, I recommend an artist named Julia Crystal. Somebody said, do you recommend any other artists? I recommend the artist named Julia Crystal, all for reborns, all for reborns.com. Yeah, come on now. I'm trying to make a living here. <laughs> that really cracks me up, though. People will be like, you inspired me, and I got a reborn on eBay, and I got scammed. Can you help me? I'm like, for real? I inspired you, and I sell reborn. So you went to eBay, and you got you a little cheap doll, and now you got scammed because it looked funny, and you want me to help you. Like, come on, guys. That's what this sale is for. So everybody who's looking for some affordable go get the sale item that's what i'm doing it for for you if you were inspired by me to collect reborns show me a little love show me a little support but if you don't don't come to me i get so many emails like that i know it might be hard to believe i don't say anything i just say hey i'm sorry you know i'm sorry you were scammed i've been scammed before too but hey you, you can choose somebody reputable who's been around for a while or you could choose somebody who you know nothing about so you know, I have, a, I have a track record. I've been on YouTube and I have good reviews. Thank you so much, Mo. I think I see somebody I know in the room. Hey, Penny. All right. Somebody said, please explain the difference. Um, so just if you missed it, you could start over, you can rewatch the video, but basically the difference between a playborn and a realborn, I mean a, a reborn is 
Reborns have, he was not, he looked really mad when I did that. Like, really? You woke me up? <laughs> um, a difference between a reborn and a playborn is, I would say a reborn is like the Cadillac of the, the dolls, you know, that I make. The reborn has all the uh, layers of paint that have many different colors. I use several different colors in the undertones of the skin. It gets painted hair. It gets rooted hair. It gets all of those things. Um, it also gets a silicone insert in the belly that makes it more squishy. And the Playborns are the same type of kits, Reborn kits, but they just don't have as much detailing. So they're like the Toyota. Now they're still very beautiful. Like I said many times, many people can't even tell the difference if it's a Reborn or if it's a Playborn. But, you know, I just like to price them accordingly. Um, for the amount of time that I put into it. I don't like to inflate my prices. So that is the difference. Um, let's see. Somebody over here on YouTube had a good question. Oh, thank you. My life is Katie. She says... She's interested in um, Marie. Marie is 19 inches long. She is chunky, girl. And she's really cute. Now, she's a real born sculpt. But she's 19 inches long. So you can see. And this is a newborn size sleeper, though. So she still fits newborn size clothes, even though she is a big old girl. See? She's still a big old girl. And this is a newborn size diaper that she has on too. If you ask a question and I miss it, please ask it again because I'm looking through three different screens. So please don't get upset if I um, if I miss your question. Okay. Um, If you're interested, contact me because I'm not going to remember. Somebody said DM me. DM me if you're interested or go directly to my website, allforeborns.com. All the information is right there. Okay, so I hope that helped you, Yvonne, explaining the differences. Um, happy birthday, Queen. All right. Anybody got any more questions? Um, Olivia says, what is my favorite doll kit? Every doll that you see on my website is my favorite doll kit. I only make the dolls that I love because I feel like that is how I put my heart into it and it comes out beautiful. If I don't like it, I will not sell it. I will not make it. And I have some dolls that I have made that when I was done, I was like, I cannot sell this. And you never saw it. So um, anything you see on my website are my absolute favorites. And that's why I do private orders of those dolls um, because I like to make them. So it's fun for me to recreate them again. And that's why I don't really like to do customs because I feel like um, I really need like creative control. And that's just how I work as an artist. So if I do like a private order and I'm recreating something, it's going to come out a little different, but it's a, it feels good for me to be able to just do something that felt good to me before versus me kind of going at it in the dark, trying to create something somebody else wanted. But I do like to do customs where, let's say, if somebody is just like, hey, I really got this kit that I like. I want you to paint it however you want to paint it. And if it's a kit that I like, then I can be like, all right, I'll do that. But I don't really like to um, try to paint the way somebody else wants me to paint because I just don't know how it's going to come out. So, you know, I like to be honest about what I'm capable of doing. But, yeah, if you go to my website, um, all of my dolls there are my absolute favorites. I have so much fun painting them. Um, Chevelle says, when is the next doll show? I have a show in Phoenix and I think about two weeks. It's two weeks at North Phoenix Baptist Church and um, I'm really excited about it. It's my last doll show of the year. 
So it's October 13th, North Phoenix Baptist Church from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. I'll, I'll put a link up on my website uh, if you want to come down. I know some people said they're going to drive out uh, to see it and to see me. I'm going to have some great deals there. This baby will be there and this baby will be there. Now, you're able to order these as private orders on my website. The private orders take about two to three weeks for me to make. And, um, yeah, I'm excited about that. And I see some people ordering them now. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Yep, this sale ends on Monday, October the 1st at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. All right, I think I might take one more question and then I'm going to go. Let's see if there's, I'll take one more question from each platform. Um, so make it good, make it good, make it good. I know it's probably late where you guys are. Oh, you're welcome, Chevelle. I hope you can come if you're near me. Oh, you live in Dubai, Brooklyn? Oh, wow. That's amazing. All right. I'm not going to get winter out because she's nowhere near me right now, guys. But I will be doing more Silicone Baby Winter Show. I know a lot of people like those videos. And I like making them. Um, Somebody said, how long have I been uh, interested in Reborns? And... I got interested in Reborns and I think about the same time I started painting them, 2011. When I saw them, the first thing I thought was, I want to learn how to make those. And that's exactly what I did. As soon as I saw them, I was just like, I can make that. I want to learn how. And I became an artist at the same time that I became a collector because I was collecting so that I could see it in person. Um, because I'm the type of person where I can look at something and like learn to recreate it like in my mind I can reverse engineer the process so that's kind of just how my brain works so um I wasn't somebody who just became a collector I became a collector with the intent of being an artist and my goal was to be a an internationally known doll artist and God is good I've I've done it and I just want to keep going and I'm trying to learn more and more so I've gotten into silicones and just trying to go as far as I can and learn as much as I can and always be improving um, and offering great quality in what I do. Great call, great quality and amazing customer service. People were amazed that when they call my phone, like I answer, I actually answer my business line. Um, but I think that's important because um, I know everybody doesn't like to order online. So if you're somebody who you want to order over the phone, Call my business line. If I don't answer, leave a message. If you're a kid, do not call my business line, though. <laughs> Especially don't call my business line acting like an adult. I get that a lot. Because I'll just block your number. <laughs> but if you're an adult, call my business line. I can talk to you. I can process your payment over the phone. Um, I just feel like that's important. Plus, I like to connect with you guys. Um, I really enjoy that. Um, it looks like silicone. Um, I don't know how to describe it. If you've ever seen silicone, it looks like silicone. She said, what, what does the silicone look like that you put inside of your babies? Yeah, it just looks like silicone. I don't know how to, how to describe it. Um, and I don't have any here to show right now. Okay, well, if you wait till Monday, though, Mo, the sale ends um, at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, so. But thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, oh, okay. You guys got a lot of questions on Instagram now. Um, I'll take a couple of these questions. She says, do I like Bonnie Brown kits? I do like Bonnie Brown kits, not only because her kits are really cute but she's a really great person um she's very friendly and i just i just met her in person at the rose doll sh <coughs> excuse me at the rose doll show and i actually did a chase kit and i've done a saskia <coughs> excuse me but i do have chase available for private order 
on my website. You guys have to excuse me if I'm sweating because it's all, I always say this, but it's warmer in my studio because I turn off the fans <clears throat> when I do these videos so you guys don't hear the sound. Um, and do I like Reborn Maddox? I don't even know who Reborn Maddox is. Reborn Maddox. I'm sorry, I don't know. I can't think of that on the top of my head. What is my name on Instagram? Yes, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube all at the same time live right now. And my Instagram name is All for Reborns. My you, my Facebook name is All for Reborns. And my YouTube name is All for Reborns. So please follow me on all of those. I'm actually most active on Patreon. My Patreon account is patreon.com forward slash All for Reborns. If you just Google me there, you'll find me. Um, and I'm more active there. I share more personal things and behind the scenes there. Um, so if you want to join that insider community, you can go check that out. And then I'm second most active on Instagram. I share like little crazy things that I do during the day there. Um, like today I drank a whole bunch of coffee. That's why I'm like hype right now. <laughs> but yeah, and then I show a lot of my work there. Because it's just easier to pick up my phone than it is for me to jump on, um, YouTube. And then I think a lot of my posts from Instagram go to Facebook too. But you guys don't get to see my stories. I do a lot of Insta stories, especially when I travel. I love Instagram. Instagram is probably like my favorite platform to be on and meet people and just interact and watch videos. I consume a lot of Instagram. No offense YouTube and no offense Facebook, but that's just what I like. Um, email me, Mo, if you want to discuss um, a payment plan, or you can just go on my website, and I have the payment plans there, too. Oh, uh, thank you, Susan. She said, I love your painting. All right, um, Instagram, I think we're gonna, just going to bump you off in a minute, because we're almost at hitting the hour, um, but let me see if there's any more questions on. Yeah, I think that's all the questions, so thank you guys for hanging with me tonight. Um, thank you guys. I hope you guys check out my website, allfreeborns.com. Like I said, this sale that I'm having with my Playborns, it's an amazing deal that you will get. It's a great time to think about Christmas or birthdays, or if you just want a new doll that is really beautiful, I do accept payment plans. And this sale will end on Monday, October the 1st at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So this is a flash sale. Uh, please share with people if you have family or friends, anybody you know who wanted a doll at an affordable price. This is a great opportunity. And I appreciate that. I appreciate all your support, all your likes, all your comments. Um, special thanks to my patrons for being in here, always showing me love. Thank you, Instagram. I see y'all over there showing me all the hearts. I appreciate that so much. Um, and yeah, thank y'all for rocking with me. It is only about 930 here in Phoenix. So I'm probably behind a lot of you guys, except for Cali. I don't know if you guys did the fallback thing yet. And in Phoenix, we don't move. We always just stay the same. We don't spring forward or fall back. So, um, oh, hi, for, hi, Singapore. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love that I have people all over the world who watch and who support. So thank you so much. I know somebody earlier said they're from Dubai, Dubai, Dubai. So yeah, that's so cool. I love you guys. I love y'all. I don't want to go. <laughs> but it's going to cut y'all off in a minute, Instagram. Um, okay, um, my life is Katie. Cool. That will be awesome. I look forward to doing a private order of her for you. Um, Fire Rocket, my website is allforreborns.com, just like my screen name, allforreborns.com. So I'll try to come back tomorrow. I'm trying to do live videos because they're easier for me. I don't have to edit them. Um, so if you guys, it seems like you guys like these live videos too. And 
you uh, Facebook, I'm going to have a better setup for you guys. I ordered a tripod. Like, these guys are on tripods. But you guys are, like, set up real, like, ghetto fabulous in here on top of some boxes on top of my laptop. So I actually ordered a tripod, which will allow me to position you guys better to see what's going on in here. And I know. The setup, it'll get better, guys. The setup will get better. I want to start doing these during the daytime. But um, I've just been really busy getting ready for this doll show. It's no joke. So... Hey, I enjoy doing them though. I really enjoy them because I get to do them with my mom. My mom will be there again. So if you guys come out, you'll get to meet her. She has some amazing work. And I'm still working on getting her stuff on my website. We have like pretty much everything uploaded. But we're still working on like a lot of the descriptions. And there's just a lot of work going into it. But it'll be worth the wait. She's got some cute stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about the stuff she has. I wish I could just keep it all for myself when she's like, yeah, I'm going to sell this to all your followers. And I'm like, wait a minute. Can I have that? <laughs> Can I have this for my doll, please? <laughs> I don't know. But I don't ask her because she probably would say, yeah, my mom's very nice. Oh, okay. Um, I should wear my glasses when I do these videos. Thank you from South Africa. I'm also getting a silicone baby doll on my birthday tomorrow. It's going to be fun to make videos. Well, happy birthday to you tomorrow. It's so many birthdays in this place tonight. Aw, uh, Aina Farah. I hope I said your name right. I, I hope I did. She said, I made her day. Love you. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> Back at you. Thank you. That's so sweet. I love live videos, guys. That's my favorite type of video to watch now. Hanging with my favorite people that I like. Aw. Thank you, um, Mo. Thank you, guys. You guys are so nice. Aw, thank you guys. I love you too. You guys are so sweet. Thank you, Heather. Aw. I love you guys. That's what I love so much about this summer, meeting people at the doll shows. It was like, it was just so much love. Ugh. I was thinking about it today. One woman who I met, it just really stuck out with me more. And I hope I don't cry when I say this story because I literally almost cried when it happened. And I don't know if she's watching right now. I don't even remember her name. But it was the most amazing thing ever, you guys. Like, I could still feel how I felt at that moment when I met her. And what happened was, I was in my booth at the Rose Doll Show. I hope it was don't. Uh, Instagram, I might come back and do the story if it ends so you guys can see the story. Because it's a good story. And then I'm going to go. Because it's about to cut you guys off. Um, so, Instagram people, when it cuts you guys off, you can come back and I'll tell the story. And then I'm a I'm a go for real. Um, okay. So let me just go ahead and end it and restart at Instagram so I can tell my story. Okay. You guys gonna come back? Okay. I hope so. Thank you for being patient. Um, YouTube and uh, Facebook. I'll try to make it a good story. All right. All right. So let me tell the story. Then I'm going to go for real. Go drink me some tea. All right. So when I was at the Rose Doll Show, I was in my booth and I met so many cool people. Are y'all over here on Instagram? Did you guys come back? Okay. Hey, hey, three little reborn adventures. All right. So when I was at the Rose Doll Show, um, I was in my booth and this little girl, like I had winter in the corner. You guys remember that from my YouTube videos? I had winter in the corner and the little girl was like walking around in my booth and her mom was kind of standing back like her mom was super tall she looked like a supermodel she was so beautiful um she was so tall though when i'm like five three so she was like towering over me and she was standing off to the side and her daughter was like walking around in my booth and then her daughter was just looking and she was looking at winter and her mom was kind of looking like all right like in my mind i was thinking her mom's ready to go like this little girl needs to hurry up and so her mom came over in the booth, and then when she got to, she got over to Winter, she went. Like, I could see her kind of go, 
And then she nudged her daughter and she was like, hey, is that the one that I really like? And then her her daughter was like, yeah. And then literally she turned around and her face was like, oh. and she looked at me, she was like, I love you so much. You're so awesome. And she gave me a big hug. And I was just like, it really, like, I don't know if it showed on my face because I don't like to show my emotions in public, but it made me want to cry. Like, I was really like, oh my gosh, like, she loves me. Like, I felt so much genuine love. So I don't know if you in here, but yeah, that stuck with me. I will probably remember that forever. So, yeah, I wish I knew your name. Maybe I'll see you again in the future. But I, I felt so much love from all of y'all this summer. So, that was my story, y'all. Um, Mo, Nehemiah's gone. He's been gone for over a year now. I'm sorry, honey. I adopted him out. And I'm going to do a video with all the dolls I have for sale. I have about four dolls that I need to sell. And I keep, I've been too busy to put up a video about them. So, Winter's not one of them, y'all. Not selling Winter. Winter ain't going nowhere. She ain't going nowhere. All right, guys. Well, that was my story. Thank y'all for hanging out with me for over an hour. You guys are amazing. Um, hey, Courtland. Oh, hey, Courtland, my patron. What's up, girl? Thank you for being here. Um, oh, thank you, Daya. Daya. I think that's how I said Daya. All right, everybody. Well, I'll be back. I'll try to be back tomorrow. I have a busy day. I have a birthday party to go to, but I'll try to come on at some point, probably in the morning time. If you guys don't mind, let me know. Does this time work for you, or do you prefer me to do this in the morning? I know. I'm sorry you can't see the dolls, honey. But watch the last video I did. I actually held them up and stuff. But, yeah, guys, go ahead and check out my website for this special sale, allforreborns.com. It ends on Monday, October 1st at 8 a.m. Flash sale, huge discounts. Tell a friend, tell a family, tell people in your real life, too, who may be interested, and share this video. Uh, like it, too. That also helped me on Instagram and um, Facebook. I don't know about YouTube, but, yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to sign off here now. Um, Facebook, peace, guys. Thank you for watching so much. All right, Instagram land. Thank you for coming back and joining me. Um, I'm going to sign off here. Go ahead and check out my website. Hi, creative newborns. All right, guys. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody. Rewatch this if you missed it. Peace. All right, my YouTube family, thank y'all for sticking with me. Um, I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. All right, good night, guys.